This is video three on solving equations with variables on both sides. Remember, we go through the three steps, simplify, variable on one side, variable by itself. On this one, the right side is in simplest form. I don't have any parentheses. I don't have any like terms. The left side, I have parentheses. I used a distributive property to multiply this three times both terms in parentheses, the one in and the negative five. Three times n is three in. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Bring down the plus 25. Now I have like terms. Negative 15 plus 25 is 10. The right side was already simplest form, so I'll bring it down, and I have 10 plus 3n. Before I go any further, let's pay attention to what we have here. I have a positive 3n on both sides, a positive 10 on both sides. So just imagine for a moment, I subtract the 3n from both sides and I subtract the 10 from both sides, everything disappears. I'm going to rewrite the right side, 3n plus 10. 10 plus 3n, 3n plus 10, same thing. You can write it either way. Both sides are exactly identical to each other at this point. When both sides are identical, we have what's called an identity. But let me keep going. Let's just say I go ahead and subtract 3n from both sides. I lose my variable, I get a true statement. 10 is in fact equal to 10. So the answer to this question is all numbers or identity or all real numbers or n is a real number, all three ways to do it. You can remember identity because both sides are identical to each other. But the answer on the test may say all real numbers, because there are such things as imaginary numbers, or it may simply just say all numbers, or it may say n is a real number. But identity or all numbers or some version of that would be the answer. If I had have lost my variable and I had a false statement like 10 is equal to nine, well, that's not true. So while all numbers are a solution to this equation, if this is your answer, no numbers is a solution. You have no solution. This circle with a line through it is the no solution symbol. And sometimes you may see them called null set. But if you lose your variable, you get a true statement. The answer is an identity or all numbers. If you lose your variable and you get a false statement, there is no solution and you can use this symbol to answer it. Let's try one, number 23. On number 23, both sides need to be simplified. The left side, six times n is six n, six times negative five is negative 30. The right side, two times 10 is 20, two times three n is six n. When I subtract six n from both sides, I lose my variable, I get a false statement, so there is no solution to this equation. You can write no solution, or you can put that symbol for no solution. Let's try 5a. On 5a, both sides need to be simplified. The left side, we distribute negative 2 times 3n to get negative 6n, negative 2 times 4 to get negative 8. On the right side, we combine like terms, negative 5n, plus negative one in is negative six in, the negative eight comes down. I see that both sides are exactly identical to each other. I have a negative six in on both sides. I have a negative eight on both sides. I know right now I have an identity. I could go ahead and add six in to both sides. It would give me negative eight equals negative eight, which is a true statement. So all numbers is a solution, or I could call it an identity. Let's try five B. On 5b, the left side is in simplest form. The right side is not. We distribute the four times eight to get 32 and four times two n to get eight n. The left side is already in simplest form. I'm ready to get the variable on one side, but I see I have an eight n on both sides. So I know when I subtract eight n from both sides, I'm about to lose my variable. I end up with a false statement, 14 is not equal to 32. There is no solution to this equation. 
On number 24, both sides need to be simplified. On the left side, we distribute the four. Four times two n is eight n. Four times eight is 32. On the right side, five times n is five n. Five times four is 20. Step one, simplify, done. Step two, get the variable on one side. I have a variable on both sides, a constant on both sides. So I wanna put the variable on the side that results in a positive. I subtract five n from both sides, which gives me three n on the left. Everything else comes down. Then to get the variable by itself, you subtract 32 from both sides, divide both sides by three. You get n equals negative four. Here's what it looks like on a number line. You would just put a dot over the negative four on the number line. So on this one, we didn't lose our variable. We actually got a solution. Our solution is negative four. Let's try number 25. On number 25, the left side is already in simplest form. The right side, three times three is nine, three times four n is 12 n. I notice I have 12 n on both sides. So I know when I subtract 12 n from both sides, I'm going to lose my variable. On this one, you get a false statement, 10 is not equal to nine, so there is no solution to this equation. Let's try 26. On 26, the right side is in simplest form. The left side is not. Let's start with the distributive property. Five times n is five n. Five times negative one is negative five. Now let's combine like terms after we bring these two down. Then we have three n plus five n, which gives us eight n. Two plus negative five gives us negative three. Now that the left side is in simplest form, I bring down the right side. I notice I have eight n on both sides. So when I subtract it from both sides, I'm gonna lose it. I get a false statement. There is no solution to this equation. Let me just show you one more as an example. On number 27, left side's in simplest form. The right side, I distribute the two. Two times five n is 10 n. Two times eight is 16. Bring down my minus 12. Combine like terms, 16 minus 12 is four. Both sides are identical. 10 n plus four on both sides. I have an identity. If I went ahead and finished it and subtracted 10 n from both sides, I would get four out of four. Four equals four, which is a true statement. So identity, all numbers, or maybe all real numbers. Thank you.